How to make a citrus shrimp rice bowl. Let's get into it. In a medium sized bowl, you're going to add a half a cup of orange juice. I prefer no pulp, but you can use whatever you'd like. Two tablespoons of sriracha. I'm using hot sauce because that's all I have, but sriracha is preferred. One tablespoon of honey. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. A quarter cup of vegetable oil. And a tablespoon of lime juice. Whisk every everything until well combined and nice and smooth. The honey might take a minute to mix in well, so make sure you whisk it really well. Now I put my liquid into a measuring cup just to make this a little easier, but you want to reserve about half of it. So just pour half of it into a bowl. And then put this aside till we're ready to use it. If you're using a measuring cup like me, just pour the rest back into your medium sized bowl. Now to the medium sized bowl with your half of your sauce, you want to add to your shrimp. You want to add about a pound of shrimp. I've already deshelled mine. I'm personally using this kind. It's fully cooked shrimp that's already, uh, you know, fully cooked. I used about jumbo size. I just uh, let them defrost for about 24 hours and then I took the shells off and I rinsed them. These are personally easier than cooking the shrimp from, from raw because these only take like two minutes. You're basically just heating them up, so I definitely recommend using this if you can. But regardless, we're gonna take our shrimp and we're gonna add it to our sauce. about a teaspoon of salt, toss the coat again. Now you want to let this rest for at least 15 minutes or up to an hour and you want to toss it occasionally. So I'd say maybe every 10-15 minutes I'd toss it. Or maybe like if you're only doing it on the shorter side then obviously you do it a little more. Maybe every like Three minutes or something you just want to make sure you toss it so it gets coated with the seasoning and the juice now while our shrimp is marinating we're gonna work on our I guess you could call it a citrus salsa now for your oranges you want to use two large oranges of um, each of a different variety I don't have any right now because we use them for other things so I'm gonna just use four cuties hopefully that'll be enough but first, we're gonna peel all these. Try to remove as much of the white stuff as possible. Um, it's okay if you don't get every last piece, just get as much as you can off. So it's not bitter or anything. Now, if you're using really big oranges, what you're probably gonna have to do is turn it on its side and cut it crosswise into rings. Then cut those individual rings into like a bite-sized pieces like you want to dice it basically but since these are so small I think what I'm gonna to have to do is just to make it easier is I'll just cut them into sections like this and then I'll probably cut each, each section into about four or five pieces or three that's fine too but once you got your diced pieces you want to put them into a small bowl like a cereal bowl or something this probably goes without saying, but of course, while you're cutting, you also want to remove any seeds that you might find. Obviously, you don't want to eat those. Once you're done slicing up all of your oranges, we're going to slice up one small yellow onion. And add it to your orange bowl. Once you've got your onion diced up and on top of your oranges, we're going to now cut up our cucumber. First, you want to cut it crosswise. Once you've got the cucumber cut crosswise, you want to keep it together and turn it 
the other direction and cut it again crosswise. The end result should be four pieces like this, though admittedly they should be a little bit more even. Um, anyways, next you want to cut them. And lastly you want to cut them crosswise, so then you get four individual pieces. Like this. Add your cucumber pits to your oranges and onions. Once you've got your cucumber and everything in your bowl, admittedly I had to transfer mine to a bigger bowl because it wasn't big enough, you're going to add one teaspoon of lime juice. And lastly, you want to add about a teaspoon of salt. Toss everything well to coat and to fully mix everything in together. And put this aside till we're ready to use it. Cook rice according to package directions. Now for cooking your shrimp, as I've said before, the kind of shrimp that I am using currently is already fully cooked. We're basically just heating it. I'm just gonna let it go in the pan for about maybe two to four minutes. You don't want to overcook it because then it'll get all hard and rubbery. Now obviously you can use um, raw shrimp if you prefer, but obviously you'll have to cook it until it is pink. And that's totally fine too. It's up to you what you prefer to use. I just like using the fully cooked shrimp because it's just easier for me. And that's basically it. It's very easy. I also put the sauce in there just to give it a little extra flavor while it's cooking. Now once your shrimp is fully cooked and ready, you want to put it just to the side until we're ready to eat. Now your last step is just to assemble your rice bowl, put your rice down, put your shrimp down, put your orange and cucumber mix down. Now take your reserved liquid from earlier, drizzle as much or as little as you'd like onto your rice bowl. And enjoy!